Fist down, so confident we're not going to break down. We probably will not break down. The head of Simbad Pictograph Site is located about 35 miles west of Green River, Utah. The area is managed by the BLM and is commonly referred to as the Head of Simbad. To get there, you'll take exit I-70 at mile marker 131 and go west on the south side of the interstate. Keep right at the second road and stay right and go underneath I-70. You will pass through two medium box-sized culverts. Some parts of these are sandy, but as long as it's not wet, a high-clearance four-wheel drive should have no issues. When you emerge out of the underpass, stay right and then take a left. Feel strong, feel confident, we're not going to break down. Probably will not break down. Probably not. Let's not break down today. Let's just make that a goal, okay? It's always my goal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give out. There's no snow, so we're, we're already confident in our truck's abilities and your driving skills. Because <laughs> we're overconfident. Go through the hole, the mighty hole under I-70. Oh my god, baby, under I-70. I hope that semi with the 90,000 pound crusher doesn't fall through. It's too narrow. It's not as bad as you think. Oh, I got at least 2.2 inches on each side. Holy shit, that's a rock Look at that. Be prepared if you're in an SUV to rock climb your bumper. Didn't like focusing in that tunnel. I didn't know what to do. It's a dark light. Dark, dark light. light. Oh. Ah, I might have put her in four legged drive, boys. Hang on. I don't like that. Some UDOT worker. They suck. Jesus, I don't know if my bumper's that clear. Front, 0.9 in the rear now. Settling in my wife's abusive relationship to the truck. I am not abusive to the truck. 2,600 pounds of sod, no big deal. 10,000 pounds in the trailer, no big deal. Which way? <laughs> Good peach soda. The trail, as you near the pictographs, can get narrow and may scratch some full size vehicles. We ended up with some light scratching, but nothing we haven't put our truck through before. Our major issue with the trail was there was a lot of ups and downs that were almost too close together for our truck, the approach and departure angle issues. Some of the road is very rutted out, so take your time depending on the condition of the road. This can vary from season to season. So this is locomotive point with pictographs and the head of Simbad, apparently. Apparently the rock formations look like a locomotive and there's some pictographs around. So let's go see if we can find the pictographs. Do you see pictographs or something? No, yeah, I'm looking for them. It's a very tall wall. Oh, my neck. Oh, my neck. The head of Sinbad is one of the best preserved ancient pieces of rock art in the world. Scientists believe the artwork is about 2,000 to 4,000 years old. The style of the pictographs is called Barrier Canyon style. Barrier Canyon style, or also called BCS, describes a distinctive style of rock art which appears mostly in Utah. 
with the largest concentration of the sites located in the San Rafael Swell and Canyonlands National Park. But the full range extends into much of the state of Utah and western Colorado. Barrier Canyon style rock art panels are mostly pictographs, which means painted, but there are also several petroglyphs, which is pecked not in the style. This rock art also features Kachina type figures. One is holding a snake in its hand and the other has one near its mouth. It appears that their feet are showing movement, perhaps dancing in a ceremony. This panel may be a depiction of a snake dance ceremony that is reminiscent of the Hopi snake dance, where the members carry handfuls of snakes and even hold them in their mouths. The Hopi believe snakes are their ancestors. Dutchman Arch is easily accessible and you can climb right up on top if you'd like. This arch was named after a Dutchman who settled in the vicinity of this area in the 19th century. This is Dutchman Arch. It's very cool. It's easy to find. It's a smaller arch. If you want to hike up to the top, you can up there. But it's pretty nice. It's an easy road to get here. Um, you just have to be careful on some of the humps. There's a look back up the racetrack. Those are some pretty steep ledges. Made a good choice not trying to do it today. Definitely need a different rake. But I don't like being that stressed out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 